Welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer, and today we're going to be looking at the solar PV production in the month of November 2022 uh, for here in London in the UK. Specifically, we're going to drill down into the south versus north facing solar arrays. We're going to have a look at the weather, which played a big role in the month of November. And we're going to discuss whether it's worth having a north facing solar array this late into the year um, and just generally how the system did. Now, if you've watched the October video, uh, you'll remember me saying that the hot tub was still switched on, which is why our usage was 600 kilowatt hours. Uh, I did switch it off at the end of October, and in November, our energy usage was a lot less. In fact, it was half of what we um, used in October. So that's great. We're at 293 kilowatt hours, which is much more sensible. That being said, our production figure overall was 170 kilowatt hours of power. That is less than half of what we produced in October. Now, you would naturally expect it to decrease as the day ga days get shorter here in the UK, but not quite by this much. In fact, we produced pretty much exactly what they said we'd produce at 387 when they said 382. And for November, they projected 206, which I think is quite sensible and would have been about a third of the power that we needed. Unfortunately, the weather did not play its part. In fact, the weather was so bad um, that we only produced 170 kilowatt hours. Bit of a shame. Um, that meant that overall, uh, we gave five kilowatt hours to the grid, but as I'm now set up with Octopus Outgoing Agile, I will eventually get paid for it, but with it being so low, it's not gonna make much difference. Um, but our actual self-consumption of that power that we produced was 97%. Um, and 165.3 kilowatt hours in total, and that's 56% of the total power that we needed in this house. So why did we produce that little? Well, it wasn't due to the fact we had a north-facing solar array and a south-facing solar array. It was literally due to the weather. If I look at the World Weather app, which gives me um, previous weather uh, rather than just predicted, um, I can work out that we had 11 days of rain plus 13 days of cloud, in only six sunny days in the month of November here in London. That is pretty awful. Um, and that translated to some pretty awful production figures. Um, even at the start of the month, we only produced three kilowatt hours on the 3rd of November. But then you move to say the 21st of November and we only produced 1.6 kilowatt hours. And then you move to the 27th of November and we only produced 1.1 1 .1, uh, kilowatt hours. And then we had a, the worst day ever on the 29th of November where we produced 0.5 kilowatt hours in the entire day. Absolutely horrific figures. And in fact, on not a single day in the month of November, did we break 10 kilowatt hours of production. If the weather had been sunny, I'm fairly confident that we could have broken that amount. But because the weather was that bad, we literally didn't. And the reason why I'm so confident that we could have broken 10 kilowatt hours is that on the 7th of December, we produced over nine kilowatt hours of power. So I'm 100% sure that at the beginning of November, that would have been a very easily attainable goal to break 10, uh, but yeah, didn't even get close. The weather, I don't think we had a single day that I could really call like a proper sunny day in, in November. It was just absolutely wild. Um, and even towards the end of October, um, you know, we had pretty awful weather, but we still were able to produce say 14, 12 kilowatt hours, but it's just like the second we hit November, the weather was just terrible. But that again, reinforces why I felt the North Facing Solar Power Array was worth it. And my logic is this, let's take that worst day, uh, which is the 29th of November, the day on which we produced 0.5 kilowatt hours. Now I don't have the breakdown to show you, but I can pretty much guarantee that the North and South Facing Arrays produced identical amounts of power. Because when the um, cloud cover is that heavy, and the light is being so diffused, you're pretty much getting identical amounts of power on both panels because it makes no difference where the sun is in the sky because it's just being diffused by so much heavy cloud that you just get the same amount of solar radiation everywhere. And given the fact it was so cloudy throughout the month, I think that's why if I drill down into the specific figures for the north facing and south facing arrays, it still accounts for 28% of what the south facing array produced in the north. And 
That's because all this cloud cover meant we had a lot of diffused light, and a lot of that solar radiation was being bounced around by the clouds, and if anything, resulted in slightly more light hitting the north than you'd expect, and the south not performing as well as you'd expect either. I think if we'd actually had a bright month with very good weather, perhaps like last year where we had a disproportionately large amount of sunny days, you'd see a much higher skew towards the south side, and I'd almost expect the north only to make up for, say, 20% of those total amounts. But, but if you are in the UK, where it is just very cloudy and you have very bad weather, you're just going to be able to make use of those panels a little bit more, and it'll make up for the fact the south isn't producing as much as you'd like. In an ideal world, I would want both of those to happen, but that's not where we live at the moment. In terms of figures, the south-facing side produced roughly on average 16 kilowatt hours per panel, um, and the north side roughly 4. Point, let's call it 4.5 average, so I said around 28%. I think that the battery, again, is just that big element that keeps on helping me to make the most of my panels because my usage is skewed towards the evenings, even though I work from home. 76% of the power that we produced then ended up going via the battery. So if I hadn't had that, yes, we would have exported more, but overall I would have been a lot less self-reliant on my system. So it's a pretty big impact and I'm very, very glad that we do indeed have um, that amount of uh, battery capacity. In fact, I'm starting to get to that point where I think that once our very, very good energy tariff ends next September, there would be an argument to be made for adding a second battery sooner rather than later, because if we could charge that off the grid um, at a lower rate, I think we would not need to buy any peak uh, rate electricity, but that's just something to keep in mind for the future. Overall though, the system did perform well, given the circumstances, but the weather is really what skewed everything. And I think the data as a result isn't as reliable for what you might expect, but it is nice to see that the North Facing Solar Array is still producing 30% in November. That's a pretty big number. And I think if you do live in the UK and specifically in the South part of the country, there's a argument to be made that if your only choice is South and North um, facing roofs, Putting panels on that north-facing roof probably isn't as bad as all the experts and installers want to tell you. Um, I think I mentioned in my install videos there was a lot of hesitancy over putting panels on the north side of the roof, but I am really pleased at the amount that I've, um, I've produced. And in fact, if I think about the total amount we've produced um, so far this year with the panels, um, the front panels have produced around 100 kilowatt hours each, and the uh, North facing panels around 45 kilowatt hours each. And yeah, that's still almost 50%. So I am very pleased that I have them. If you have any questions about the uh, array I've got, uh, make sure you check out the other videos, equally pop them in the comment section, always happy to help. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button uh, on the right hand side, because it really does help me out. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.